Hey there, Glenn with one N here, and I am a huge advocate for automating everything in the Ableton Live timeline for live performances, including your looper. Some people might not know that you can automate the states of your looper. Basically, stop, record, play. And then inside the looper, you can set it up for whenever it does uh, trigger recording, it will record for the specified number of beats and then start playing, which is really, really useful. This is good for if you know exactly how many beats each section is gonna be looped for, and you know the structure of the song, this is gonna help you out a lot. So what I'm gonna do is perform for you a song called Another Friday Night. Uh, it's a song about being in my early 20s, going out with the boys, looking for ladies, unsuccessfully. Not earning very much money and drinking at all. <laughs> As I'm performing it, you're gonna see the automation uh, lanes and you're gonna see the states that they change as well as some of the channels mixing in and out. Uh, so you can see how I can perform this song completely live and looped, but I don't need to touch anything. All I need to do is prance around like an idiot and sing. So you'll notice that I perform the bridge at the beginning of the performance. Uh, those loops get recorded, then silenced by the mixer. Then later in the song, I can turn off all the verse chorus loops, switch back on the bridge. And of course, I've automated some effects in there as well, like some delays, a little bit of reverb, stuff like that. An important thing to note is that I have all of the loopers set to never output the input. I've got a separate track that is always outputting the microphone input. So basically each looper is not doubling the input. It's only ever gonna play the recorded loops. Okay, here we go. So I just cut my 
losses and get into a cab And then I get myself very high Another Friday night Another Friday night That'll do. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that informative. Please let me know if you think there's something I could improve to make my life easier or any questions that you might have. I will always read the comments and get back to you. And let's share some, uh, some live looping arrangements that you've done. Link them in the description. Let's all help each other out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. I am working on a huge video this week that showcases the ins and outs of my whole live performance rig. That's gonna be a really big video, including how to use video game controllers on stage, how to synchronize your visuals, how to synchronize a light strip, all of the hardware and software that I use to make that happen, and just some other tips and tricks that hopefully you'll find informative. See you in the next one.